anything today which you see at the industrial scale at one point in time was performed at the lab scale right and once that lab scale was successful it was able to reproduce the right kind of results it was a viable product only then a company could transition or transform that particular lab scale product to a industrial scale and they could achieve success now whether it is wine or curd or uh, artisanal curd which you must have seen the paneer any food tech uh, which is used for fermentation or anything anything which is worked uh, at, the, at the industrial scale today once upon a time it was a lab scale right so that that brings me to the word today lab scale fermentation why do you need to know now one thing i can you know guaranteed tell you that none of the labs in india except one has this facility okay and companies have it pharmaceutical uh, industries have this facility but they will not give you access because that's a real fermenter okay you can't get access to the real fermenter but unless you have experience of a lab scale fermentation you cannot work in the industry right and that is where today's video comes into picture now if you have a lab scale fermentation experience it will help you do real time experimentation it will help you fine tune your experimentation it will help you understand the fermentation conditions and optimize it for maximum results maximum productivity and maximum yield so that is where your hands on experience will come into picture the next thing is suppose you hypothesized or your team hypothesized in the future that we can create this through fermentation so in the lab itself you can you, you can have a fermenter and you can identify and address potential bottlenecks ensuring scalability and reduce the risk during upscaling so right now okay i am hypothesizing that if i make this product using uh, the fermenter then i can get this result but if i go and use it in a real fermenter it will cost me huge so what companies do is they try to do it in a lab scale fermentation right and then they try to find the bottlenecks they, they try to find what really will happen if i try to upscale and then the third will be cost saving like i said a real fermenter is huge so you 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 need a lot of raw materials but when you do it in a lab scale lesser price you can find out okay whether this will be successful or not and that is where you need to have right hands on training on lab scale fermentation only they, then you can graduate to the real fermenter in a pharmaceutical and a biotech industry so now what are the key components and processes the first will be inoculum preparation right you have to ensure a healthy and viable starter culture for successful fermentation so the other day i was walking through the uh, gallery of biozine which is a fermentation specialist in uh, india and bangalore especially so they have an excellent lab scale fermentation setup they have an entire building dedicated to uh, lab scale fermentation and um, if you ever get a chance to visit biozine please visit it's an amazing place to be in if you are a biotech guy it's a paradise okay so what i saw is the scientists were able to optimize their environmental parameters including the temperature ph and aeration to support the microbial growth and product formation so all of this in a fermenter how do you set up you can learn at uh, biozine and then monitoring and control so once you have done the inoculum once you have you are growing the product then you have to keep monitoring if the ph is right if the temperature is right if uh, the growth is uh, expected and you have to keep plotting it against the uh, graph and see if it is in the right direction so regular measurements of various parameters it will help you in it will enable you to re uh, for real time adjustments and process stability so these are the points which i think you should know and it's not that these these uh, fermentation are full proof there will always be challenges and limitations but they have successfully transitioned our lab scale to industrial scale today right uh, biozin is one of the largest sellers of fermenters in india so that means if they are giving some kind of a training you must go for it so uh, next week we are coming up with a exclusive uh, lab scale fermentation training hands on training for all the stu students and subscribers of biotechnica now this is available offline in bangalore so you will have to go to the lab and do it uh, biozine's lab and if you are not able to go there you can attend it live online hands on virtual demonstration for 2 days 
at Biotechnica exclusively. The link is given in the description. You can always check. Now let's come to the challenges and limitation of the lab scale fermentation. Now, obviously, any fermentation, there is always a contamination risk. So you have to be on your toes, toes okay? And that is what you learn, how to uh, run a fermenter without contamination. Right. The second, when you are running in a lab scale, when you try to scale up, there will be challenges. So how to scale up, that also will be taught at Biozine. And the third is process variability. So biological systems exhibit inherent variability. So uh, you have to be careful if the process is under control and you have to keep optimizing for the desired result because uh, it can go in wrong direction, right? So that is where you have to have, uh, there will be challenges, there will be limitations. But if you are an, an expert in lab scale fermentation, then only you can be an expert in industrial scale. Um, fermentation. So there are various um, case studies which uh, you should read through. Pharmaceutical industry, it is being done at a very large scale. Life-saving drug, drugs and biologics are being uh, created using fermentation, fermenters. Biofuel production also, uh, fermenter is used, uh, lab scale as well as industrial scale. Food and beverage sector, for example, artisanal cheeses, craft beers and probiotics are created using this uh, lab scale as well as industrial scale fermentation. So knowing this will help you get placed in these industries. There is food uh, technology industry, there, there is your uh, biotech industry, pharmaceutical industry. Now the only thing which you have to learn when you are there is how to properly sterilize. You will also learn data logging and statistical analysis, data interpretation. And then you will also learn how to collaborate and share your knowledge, how to reproduce your knowledge in a documented format. So these are the things which you have to know whenever you are trying to go for a lab scale fermentation training. Now, obviously, you will ask me, what is the future of this lab scale fermentation training? So any biotech innovation can happen only in the lab. It doesn't happen at the industrial scale. Industry scale comes only when the product is created and it is proven that it will work the way we want, right? So all the biotechnology innovations will happen in the lab and obviously you need a fermenter there. The second will be integration with automation. You have AI and ML coming in, a lot of softwares, bioinformatics also coming in. How to integrate all of this into your fermentation process? That is going to be the future. Third will be obviously the big data integration. Integration. So utilizing the big data analytics, you can unlock hidden patterns and insights leading to optimized fermentation processes. So what is happening right now is we are manually doing all the data analysis. What if we could use computers and we could analyze and we could make better decisions to uh, in the ferment fermentation technology. So these are the pointers which I want to discuss today. At uh, this juncture, I can say that lab scale fermentation has huge scope if you want to get into the industry. It's actually the real industrial training if I have to you know, frame it that way. And the best part is Biozine is the excellent platform and they are now integrated closely with Biotechnica and we have this fermentation technology uh, training program coming for two days online as well as offline and the price, the fees is very low. Please check the link in the description and acquaint yourself, equip yourself with new skill set so that you can grow bigger and better in the future. With all the best wishes, see you soon in the next one. Till then, keep shining. Bye-bye.